Okay, we're going to make a drawing for part uh, 1A. So the first thing you want to do is go up to uh, New, and this is an English part. So we want to come down to where it's uh, the drawing, the IDW file. Click on that and click Create. And uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to place our part in here. So I'm going to click Base, and uh, I'm going to make sure that right here is the colored thing, and I want to make sure that that's, that's off right now. And uh, I'm going to get the front view, and you'll see if I kind of drag down below here that there, there's the front view. Now that's really small on here, so you might want to change, play with the scale so you got it, so it's going to be nice. So I'm going to do like three to one. Let me see, maybe I can go four to one. Um, yeah, I probably can go four to one. So once you have that, you're going to come down here and you're gonna uh, left click to pop that into place and then you're gonna move up and you're gonna left click you're gonna move over and you're gonna left click probably four to one was too big and then you're gonna go down four to one, yeah let's see let's just and I'll left click and then I'm gonna right click and click create and that'll have them on there now I'm gonna undo that because that that looks bad and all messed up so I'm gonna undo and I'm gonna go to base again and I'm gonna go three to one. Four to one is too big. So I messed that up and hopefully you won't. So I'm gonna click on front. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna put the view, left click, left click, left click, left click, right click, create. And then um, your isometric view up here in the right corner, I'm gonna right click on. I'm going to edit view and I'm going to click the color because so you, you want the isometric one to be uh, shaded or colored so it's going to be like this. Okay now what we want to do <clears throat> is we want to start uh, putting in our dimensions. Now uh, the directions for part 1a was that it was datum dimensioning um, which I don't really use that term. I, I use uh, baseline dimensioning which is the kind of dimensioning I like but that means that it's all going to be dimensioned from like the same uh, point. So we're always going to start here on our front view, and uh, we're going to dimension, you know, across and and up and down here on what we need to do. And so I can I can go from here to here and from here all the way over to here and get both those dimensions in the same thing with what we call a baseline dimension. Um, I can't go from here to here and from here to here. We do not dimension to hidden lines. That's kind of a no-no in documentation. Um, and that's okay. We, we'll get that when we come up here because we can go from here over to there, which would be the same thing as from here to here. So and instead of going from here up to here, this hidden line, we'll get that when we come over here and go up from here up to there. And uh, we're going to click uh, annotate. The other thing we have to do on this part is we have to do inline or aligned uh, um, dimensions, which means it'll be going the same direction as... Uh, the dimension goes. So we'll show you how to do that here in a second. Okay, so that, so I'm, I'm, I clicked on annotate up here on the tab, make sure we know where we're at. Um, we have dimension and I'm going to click baseline dimension as important. So I come here, I click that, that's, that's it. the first thing I click is going to be my baseline and then I'll come out here and click that and then I'll come out here and click that and then I will, and then I did all those left clicks and I'm going to do right click continue and then I can drag this up like this and I can do left click and then I can do right click uh, create okay so now you see we have these uh, baseline dimensions here on top and of course um, if your dimensions don't come out right like mine are coming out that means you didn't probably make your part right so you're gonna have to go back and edit your part so it'll edit it correctly here in the uh, drawing okay so I'm gonna do another baseline and I'm gonna go up I'm gonna start here as my baseline left click left click and left click right click continue and I can pull it out here to the side and then left click to hold it in place and then right click create a lot of clicks you have to do when you're doing these dimensions okay so that's pretty good uh, dimensioned here on the front side let's go up here and see what else we need to uh, further do we don't want to do we don't want to do double dimensions that's, and that's tricky because I find myself a lot of times doing that. 
So I want to come up here and I want to go from here over to there because I couldn't get that on this one. I couldn't go from there to there because that was a hidden line. So I'm going to put a dimension in there. I'm going to click uh, here and here and pull that down right there. I'll click OK. I want to change it. And uh, I also need to know, that's the only thing I need really this way because I got everything else. I got from here to here, right there. I got from here over there, right there. That's all good. I can figure out everything else I need. But I need to go depth-wise. I don't have anything depth-wise yet. So I'm going to do a baseline again. And I'm going to go here, uh, here, and here. Right-click, continue. Uh, pull it out. Left-click, right-click, create. And now I have a baseline there. And um, <clears throat> um, I wait, can maybe assume how far it's going to be there. But I'm going to dimension that down here too so you'll be able to see that. So that's probably enough on that one. So I'm going to come down here, <clears throat> and I need to know. I need to know. Um, first, I need to know is how far it is from here up to here because I couldn't dimension that. So I'm going to go from here up to there on the first one. So I'm going to click here and here, pull that out. Okay. So now I have that one on there. So that's the only thing I couldn't do on this. So now I need to know uh, this way. Um, this bottom part I have figured out. I have I, I did it on, up here on this, but the top part I didn't do over here. I could have done it over here, but I didn't. So I'm going to use all three drawings to do this and spread my dimensions out. Sometimes you can do them all on two dimensions and you don't need a third, but I'm going to go ahead and spread these out a little bit. So I'm going to do a baseline here, and I'm going to go here, left click, uh, left click, and I'm going to go all the way the, the entire way. Right click, continue, pull that up. And then left click, right click, create. So um, now I know that from here to here, it was, I know, and I know from here to here, and I know the whole way. So I got all those uh, uh, figured out there. Okay, um, that's pretty good. Uh, there's something we need to do here still. Um, <clears throat> these vertical ones here are supposed to be aligned, which means it's supposed to be going the same way as the dimension. So you have a dimension here and it's written this way. You have a dimension here, it's supposed to be written up and down. So I'm going to come here. <clears throat> this is kind of tricky. So I'm going to come on and grab one of these. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, right click on one of these dimensions I need to do this with. And I'm going to come down to where it says new dimension style. Click new dimension style. Uh, we're going to click on text, and then we need to do any angled ones like this, angled dimensions. We need to come down here and do uh, inline aligned, and uh, any vertical ones. It's horizontal ones, see, they're already okay, right? I mean, that's the way they're going to be. Vertical one, we need to come down here and do uh, inline vertical, so that if it's a vertical dimension, it'll actually be right there in line like that. And uh, <clears throat> you'll see um, up here, it's this is what it's going to call my new dimension style. So I could do, uh, I could uh, call it something. I could call it like, um, uh, let's see, I'll, yeah, aligned style. And I'm adding a style to uh, these drawings that I can then use from that point on. So I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice, see, that it's it's in line right there. Now, you do not and you don't want to go and create a new style for every single one of these. You just created a new style, so all we need to do is assign that new style to these other ones here. But we do have to go and do that to each one of these. So I'm going to come here and uh, I'm going to I'm going to click on this one. <clears throat> And uh, what you'll notice when I click on it is up here, you'll see that these things change. I'm under annotate over here in the format. I can come here and I can click on this and I go down there and there's my style. I can click on align style and it, and it changes it. So it's really nice. And, and the thing you don't want to make a mistake of is making a new style every single time. If you do that, when you come up here, you'll see, you'll just get all these styles that you've added to it and you don't want to do that. So I can come here, I can... And I can click on both of the same times if I hold the shift key down, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Hold that one and that one and this vertical one. All of those I want to be aligned. So I'm going to do that. And now they're all um, the align style, which is what the assignment said to do. Okay.
Last thing you do is click on text. Come down here in the title box. Um, let's change it to the biggest font here, 0 0.240, and uh, put your name in there. Okay, and then you can save that <clears throat> as something. Drawing 1A, and uh, you can go up, and you can go up to the I, and. Uh, you could export this as an image and uh, or uh, screenshot this or whatever you want to do. But you need to get an image of this drawing that you're going to put into your presentation. So that's how you do uh, the documentation on the first part.